We have an update to the Bayonetta story that I talked about a day or so ago, where Helena Taylor turned out and said that she was only paid roughly, or was going to be paid, about, I think, three to four thousand dollars for the entire role of Bayonetta. And this has caused a lot of kind of talking. And I still stand by the whole thing of saying that I think voice actors in general need to be paid a lot more than the, what they're worth rather than a low ball number for most projects. That is just the thing. I hope it does change. I hope it does change. But a lot more news has come out since then and we need to talk about it because we need to update this story. So let's jump to the internet, through the internet. The kind of really short version of this right now is that Taylor was actually meant to go in for at least five sessions, paying three to four, uh, three to four thousand dollars for um, for hours worth in the studio. And when you kind of add all of this up to at least fifteen thousand dollars, that's actually a lot better than most. And effectively, she turned around and said that this was meant to be uh, that she asked for a six figure uh, salary, which again, it's up to absolutely her right to do so. And that's absolutely fine. So because of negotiations couldn't go through, they did decline. Now, this was from a source that didn't want to reveal themselves. And that's absolutely fine because we know in general what would happen is that they would get fired for it. But at least they came out and started kind of talking about it. So this is one thing. Now, I don't know if this is 100 percent true, but this is what they've been uh, said. So in the email that was sent, um, Taylor described the account as an absolute lie. And the Platinum are just trying to save their own asses in the game. Um, and one thing is like for this, I don't know if this is just through all anger and stuff like this, where she's also wrote, I would like to put this whole bloody franchise behind me, quite frankly, get on with my life in the theater. And part of me is, is thinking like that to me seals like I'm done, like fuck you type thing. And I hope that's, I just hope that is just literally in anger and that she doesn't actually mean this, but yet yeah, is going to move on and says, hey, my time is done in Bayonetta, but you know, so on and so on. That's what I hope because when I see stuff like this, it just generally irks me and it makes me go really maybe a nice message to say goodbye. Right, a few other things. So let's kind of break it down. Again, this is the main sort of thing turning around, saying the Platinum um, offered them three to 4K per session, not a flat rate of 4K. Helena asked for six figures and residuals. Helena claims that this is a lie. Three to four per session is a generous by um, current VO at the moment by anything. And that I think is pretty cool. But it says like uh, Platinum offered Hel Helena Taylor between three to four K per session for at least five sessions, according to two people familiar with the deal and documentation viewed by Bloomberg. In response, the people said that Taylor asked for a six figure fee, residuals, negotiations fell apart. Taylor denies this account is an, uh, this account uh, in an email to Bloomberg, she called the version of events absolutely like what we've just pretty much said. Now, I think this is one thing we need to talk about and I'm, I'm so sick and tired of always seeing this sort of stuff go on so jason um mentioned on this one taylor's videos also led to the barrage of twitter vitro and harassment toward platinum developers and the new bayonetta actor jennifer hale who put out a statement saying she could not comment and subconsciously retweeted a telling thread I feel critical thinking is a skill that needs to be taught as its own subject in school. If you only hear one side or part of one side of a story, you haven't heard the whole story. Spreading uh, an opinion based off partial information can spread misinformation. And this is obviously true. We were reporting on the fact that, you know, Taylor got paid quite low or what we were listening to on her side. And yeah, we needed to hear everything. And I don't know if Platinum Games were going to come out. It would have been interesting for them to say, hey, we don't normally break NDA. We don't normally do this, but we need to. And this is literally what's going on and give them their statement. And then obviously the truth would come out much later on. Hence why emails have been sent to Bloomberg. I know roughly round about how much voice actors get paid. And that's the reason why I kind of wanted to talk about it. But also the whole thing of, I heard that a lot of people went after Jennifer and literally went to town and uh, trolled her, uh, accused her, like shouted and stuff and harassed her and stuff like that, which I feel like you should never do because that's not right on any level is just to harass. At the end of the day, she's there to do a job. If someone else took over the lead of whichever character that you like for whatever game, 
then to me personally, I would never want anyone to attack them. That's not the thing. For them to take over that role, that is what their main job is. So you're going after it just because of whatever, you know that the person, like you know, the voice actor or actress or whoever, isn't gonna send you a message and go, good job there, buddy. Good job, you've done well. Thanks for sticking up for me. It's, it's not going to happen whatsoever. And I feel like if you think that because your favorite star is going to come and save you or send you a, oh, cheers, thanks for that, it's, it's not going to happen. People going after Jennifer is wrong. You shouldn't do that whatsoever. Now, if this is all true and basically Platinum Games did give a very generous offer and H Helena didn't want to take it, then that's completely up to her. But again, this could bring up more problems later on. I don't know what it is. It just it makes it. Maybe this is a way that everyone needs to know. Shit, the gaming industry, the anime industry, the voiceover industry, the TV industry. Don't pay the correct people the right amount of money or what is a national living wage from what we've got. Can't speak. So tired. But it does now mean, are we going to look into how people are paid? Because if you're not paying them and you're making a lot of money, I think we need to be looking at this more than anything. Now, do you still want to boycott Bayonetta 3? That's again up to you, depending on what you want to do. I still want to play it. I'll find a way to play it. But yeah, I think that's it. I just really wanted to kind of give an update on this to kind of talk about it. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. And I'll see you later. チャンネルをサポートしてくれてありがとうございます。チャンネル登録、高評価お願いします。以下のリンクから商品を入手することができます。<音楽>